Now, Bloodroot is kind of interesting. I wish, if it wasn't such an odd spring, I would be able to really show off Bloodroot. It's just been so weird. Bloodroot was around for like a day this year. It bloomed for like a day. Um, I, I don't know, did anybody see it? A big, a large white flower out in the woods. Uh, you know, nine petals, roughly. Uh, kind of a, it, the leaf looks like Batman. <laughs> it's got this sort of leaf. Um, and it's called Bloodroot because if you break the root, um, it oozes this bright orange sap. Uh, that was used by the French, from what I understand. It was actually exported and used as a dye. Um, but it's kind of rare. I mean, it's locally abundant, which means, like, you can find it in areas. But as far as its entire range, you know, it's rare. Uh, here, you know, it's pretty abundant, but as far as the whole range. So you don't want to disturb a patch um, anymore. But uh, Bloodroot has an interesting symbiotic relationship with ants. Uh, the, they're... Really, bloodroot is pollinated by things like flies, um, and it's not, that's not very interesting as far as the way, it, the method. But um, the way it gets its seeds out there is the seeds have this little pipe sticking off them that have a sweet oil, this kind of sweet sap, and it attracts the ants. So the ants pull it down into their tunnels, they eat that tube, that little pipe, and they just leave it. So they've, they've taken kind of the first layer off the seed and opened it up, and then they've buried it underground. So that's how they, uh, that's how, that's how it spreads the seed. I think that's really great. Um, so Bloodroot, I mentioned it looks like Batman. Um, you guys can see. Yeah. Uh, there's the little seed pod. This is a poppy. It's a member of the poppy family. Um, now there was some research going on to, as a, for the sap to treat skin cancer. Um, I don't know about that. I know that, uh, the sap can help with warts, like uh, uh, if you have just like, warts in your hands, you know, you can, the sap, if it's treated over a long enough period of time, it can help cure warts. Um, but that sap, and these are almost too far gone to bleed. This one's bleeding a little. Um, you can see, mm -hmm. nice red, but that sap there is uh, pretty handy. Now, that this isn't something you'd want to take internally. Um, I mean, it's got some sort of volatile stuff in it but uh as far as i you know i've, I've heard of things topical things warts um and i've read that it was you being used to treat skin cancer for some time